well, this should be interesting. Because, you know, reasons. Felt like making a, a demo for creating farms in Minecraft. Why? Because, well, it's there, mostly, honestly. Also, this area appears to have had a creeper blow it up, so hey, um, landscape needs a little re uh, defining anyways. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I think I'll stop right about there. Okay, so, the basic principle here is that you need to have a layer one block deep of water underneath your layer of dirt and then you don't actually need to worry about proximity because all of your dirt blocks that you're using for your farmland will be uh, perpetually considered to be one block away from water because there's one underneath them really helpful trick to be honest because it, it means that you can just have a flat farm area just and not bother with stuff like trying to figure out exactly how if you're the right distance away and all that stuff all right so for this one i'm not going to go past there because water. Alrighty then. <laughs> I suppose I could actually go over one more because there's actually no harm in having the um, water I'm using for the farm directly connecting to the water in the river. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I'll do it. Alrighty then. So, we now have water. Da da da. Well, actually, not as much as water as we need. Because, for my purposes, having this block um, <coughs> be um, open is um, useful. Okay, so, um, need to scoop a bucket of river water up. And now, we need to use the water duplication gimmick to make a whole lot of water <laughs> where previously there just <coughs> isn't water. See how, see how that changed? It's duplicating. Okay, so who's the last one there? So next one needs to go here. <coughs> so I placed one here, and next we go here. <coughs> Dang it. This is easier if you're not in the water. Well, also, it's easier if, you know... Let's yeah, see the smooth water? This area is completely filled in now. So we can just look here and see this one here and then go out one more. No, oh, wait, that was too far. There we go. That got it. 
Yeah, see, the water duplication thing is interesting because the fact that when you make a diagonal line out of water, it will just incessantly duplicate and fill in a very large area very quickly if you um, position it right. See what I mean? Now we have the entire area filled in with water. Completely wall to wall. Now we just put a layer of dirt up top. Uh, you know what? While I'm at this, I am going to uh, mark the corners of the area with torches because it's probably going to start growing grass on them if I uh, wait. Alrighty then. <coughs> now to just quickly fill in the... Oh look, see, yeah, already growing grass over there. And I just realized I forgot to bring a hoe. Uh, although you may have noted that someone, I don't know who, was generous enough to leave a crafting bench near here. Right over there. So I'll just use that to make a hoe in it. dug out a lot more dirt than I thought. Because so I actually only brought one um, stack of dirt blocks. Anyway, though. One reason I put torches so many places outside is just that Having lighting all over the place means less monsters spawn at night. Because monsters only spawn places you don't have torches. So simply putting torches wherever, you know, means no monsters spawn. You know what to put in here. I just realized I didn't actually bring anything to plant. Wait, does it count? No. I got that actually uh, while I was digging. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? One thing we don't have is a lot of melons. So I could just Yeah, I'll just ax a few melons and um all that good. Yeah, see that's an interesting thing about melons and pumpkins is that they change the ground under where they grow to being non-tilled.
And it occurs to me that this was an inefficient layout. Uh, checker putting them like this kind of works, I guess, but mm, only kind of. All right, I'm not going to harvest all of them right now. All right, do that. Hold on a sec. Alrighty then. Well, Okay, so put that outside it. Mm. Eh, whatever. I know, I know. Very, very tedious hoeing all of this stuff, especially when it sometimes just reverts on its own. Interesting that you can't hoe it because it has a, a torch on it. I wonder what happens if you place a torch on hoed dirt. It doesn't let you. Whoa. That is interesting. I didn't tell it to place there. Huh. Anyway, though. So, let's start in this corner and begin placing melon seeds. I'm going to be doing a 1-2 distribution. See, because this location will place melons on both of these. So... I'm going to put the next seed here and here one two and here and oh mm. well that's unfortunate I just realized the width of this is slightly off need to make it one block wider going that way well dang. That's actually not a difficult ask, honestly. Hmm. It can take a little while to put together, but totally doable. Anyway though, for this, now just do one two here. And just put a seat here. And I just realized I don't actually have enough melon seeds to finish this. Oh, well. Oh, I can actually just make more melon seeds. Wait, that was the wrong location. Whoops. Oh, that destroyed the melon seedling. Didn't uproot it and give me the seed back. Uh oh. Ah, uh, yeah, that's something good to remember. Ugh. It's there. It's there. Yeah, I'll 
of these melon seedlings are really, really hard to see when they're tiny babies. And that's a monster. Aha! Oh yeah, that, that that's something funny. Get off me. This is a drought. Didn't want to fight it in the thing. Yeah, see, because, like, uh, zombies will get stuck in boats. This zombie tried to climb over the boat and get stuck in it. I can just murder it for free. Honestly, if I'd murdered it for free the, uh, earlier... Oh, look, another zombie. That picked up a squid ink. Huh. Well... Squids often beach themselves and die, so, you know, I guess th that makes sense that it would have had, there would have been a squid ink somewhere around here. Okay. Wow, those are small. Alrighty then. So, what we need to do now is... Shovel a trench along here. Yeah, crap, I fell in the hole. Now, one thing to remember here is that uh, there isn't actually water down there. We need to create water down there. To do that, well, you know what? <sighs> Yoink. And. Oh, wait, no. It, it did actually create water. Huh, never mind. Oh yeah, that's right, because we actually have a source block right here. That's right. So, so uh, putting more... Okay, then. Whoa! Got surprised. Whoops. Hello, how are you? Glowstone, really? You're trading me glowstone and a blue orchid. Hmm, interesting options. Yes, yes, I am interested in your um, wares. Don't mess up my melons. So I'm actually only going to. How the ones where I'm actually planting things this time. Three? I need three more seeds to finish the uh, pattern I did. Okay. I did there. I just realized that I kind of messed up something here, but whatever. This is one of those stacking arrangement things where putting it like this actually doesn't give you the ideal amount of stacking, and I uh, didn't think about that until I'd already done everything. Am I missing a seat here? One more melon seed. There we go. Alrighty then, and here and that is a melon patch. Uh, obviously, you will need to come back in a few days to actually harvest any melons, but whatever. One of the cool things with melon patches is that unlike stuff like beets, you don't dig up the melon plants themselves. You just uh, harvest the melons. Anyways. Well, that's enough for the video.